Back again, viewers, back again. It's not your boy, Leroy, it's me, of course. And uh, we're back at Blackpool Central, the new car park build. And um, we're just trying to bring it back to where we left off last time. As you can see, there's only about, well, about a quarter of it left to build at the front there. Because it's going to be, it will be squared off at the front, leading onto Chapel Street there. It's just where the way they've done it. I would imagine the, the, the cranes will be moving in soon to, to complete the steelwork and the, uh, the concrete at the front there. It would appear that we've also got uh, some form of breeze block building being, being started there at the front as well. It's probably offices or something for the car park. That's quite evident there, at the, just peeking out from the front. Just where you see the scaffolding there. Okay. You can see the uh, the diggers in place. The scissor lifts. And now we're getting up close and personal at the front. Now we're above the, the east side. Above the east side. It's where the, uh, the ramps up and down from the rooftop are situated. So there is two ramps, one up, one down, not sure which is which at the minute. But as you will see shortly as we pan across, you'll see there's two ramps that meet in the middle. And these are of course on every floor. All the way down to the bottom. Now we're looking up over the rooftop towards Funland and the uh, and the sunset over the sea. And the old police station is still there at the moment, but that will be dropped uh, shortly. Panning round and onto Central Drive. Central Drive leading up to the tower at the back of the King Edward Apartments now. Back of the King Edward Apartments, which are, are going to be part of the Heritage Quarter. The joke shop at the bottom there, I don't know whether that's being dropped or whether it's being kept. But we, what we do know is they, they are being made to vacate it. So yeah, we're just going along the east, eastern uh, back edge of this car park, parallel with Central Drive, going up towards Hornby Road there. Pan round there, taking Coral Island, the New Sands Hotel, Golden Mile Centre, Sea Life Centre, and that police station there, just coming into view. Okay. We're right above on the top floor of this car park now. See the lamp posts in place. Now we're panning down. Then. Every floor has been clad on the outside. We're now on the west side, west side looking up, we're going very close and personal now, looking in, into each floor as we go up. You can see the light fittings have already been fitted on the on the roofs of the of each floor. No marked out car park spaces yet though. Okay, back to the south side now, the south side. Just flying in towards the front there. 
where, where the drone is right now is uh, this will be part of the car park this is uh, it needs it will be built out over where we actually are now and this is the front edge uh, on Chapel Street Panning round, looking up towards Central Drive. You can see the King Edward pub there, it's just got quite a lot of scaffolding around it. Okay, we are now on the west side of the car park, west side facing the sea. taking in the sheer size of this now gonna pop up over the top there oh, there's a couple of workmen on the top there so obviously can't go any further than what I am wouldn't want to uh, cause any problems so we're panning round now towards Eden Way Anyway, you can get the Odeon Cinema there, Banner Times Gym, and the football ground there in the distance. See so the bottom of your screen there is the old Brunswick Club. straight down Kent Road and Erdington Road there from this view there you go but there's the square with the car park there and the bottom of Rebel Road Central Drive here we have Reeds Avenue Palatine Road And the south face of this new car park build with some uh, some of the new steel work now in place the cranes there ready to do the rest of the heavy lifting and if you look to the bottom of the screen there it looks like they're going to be a staircase down to Chapel Street at the end of the ramp where Eden Way finishes there Eden Way incidentally the, the ramp will be built take care uh, the earth will be moved there to enable a ramp down to ground level for the entrance and exit of the car park so yeah now the steel works already been started which will be uh, once that's completed the the concrete will come back in in sections as before and be dropped into place A nice close-up of the uh, of what's going on you can see that where that staircase is going to be now at the bottom of the bridge there so I'm not too sure if there's going to be two entrances on this it looks like it is it's like it's going to be an entrance on Chapel Street and also on the um, on the west side so I think there's going to be two entrances in and out of this car park on Chapel Street and on the west side I could be wrong but that's the way it's looking it's obviously the end of Eden Way there that's got to go down to the west side of this building it can't uh, can't go any anywhere else to be fair Unless, unless we have a, 
like a roundabout that brings it back round into the front of Chapel Street and then in at the uh, at the front here, which is also a possibility. So as you can see there's um, not a great deal left to do at the front end here now, not a great deal to do at all. And just pan up there and take in the uh, view of the tower as well while we're at it, Tower and North Pier. You can also see Barrow in the distance there. Just make it out in the distance. Barrow in Furness. The Old Wolves Clock Tower and North Pier. Here you can see the sheer size of the area that uh, that this build's going to take in once this car park's finished. So you've got the car park in front of Coral Island there, that's going to be part of it. Also the police station and all the law courts buildings in the bottom left hand corner of your picture now. The whole lot's going to be dropped there. Everything's going to be flattened and that whole area is going to be used. On this 300 million pound mega build. Oh yeah, this concrete jungle in front of you there, bottom uh, bottom left hand of your screen, that whole lot's going to be flattened, every bit of it, to make way for this new build. And it is an eyesore now, it really is an eyesore now. And that car park there, that will uh, that'll no longer be there. That the, the open car park in front of Coral Island, that's going to be like a big plaza. Quite a lot of it anyway, where it's opened around. Where you can wander about between buildings. From what I've seen on the plans. So you got a uh, view there on the west side again. Looking over towards the Pennines in the distance there. Incidentally that coach station will no longer be there either, which we have on the at the front there near the castle pub, the bottom of Hornby Road. 
That'll no longer be there. I, I believe the coach station is going to be at the back corner of Bonnie Street, Chapel Street. So yeah, this whole area here, it's, uh, it's all going to be uh, revamped, rebuilt, reused. It will no longer be a car park. Everything you see on the screen now here will no longer be a car park. You pan around here, you've got uh, Hornby Road there in the middle of the picture. And this front side here of the car park, the, the north facing wall, should I say, the north wall. You won't be able to see this for long because directly in front of this is going to be a, a hotel. Be a hotel built directly in front of this. So the view that you're seeing right now is, will be uh, pretty unique because you won't be able to get this one once the hotel's built. Just to zoom out to uh, to take in the sheer scale of this build. You can see straight down Eden Way there. Towards the football ground. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Hopefully we'll be doing some more drone footage in the future. And I'm going to leave you here, folks. It's not your boy Leroy. I'm signing off. I'll catch you later. See you for now.